pain, outrage, and frustration. A little girl and her family do not mince words describing what happened when a seven-year-old was hit by a hit-and-run driver. Tonight, that driver still on the run. Good evening and thanks for joining us. I'm Dion Lim. I'm Eric Thomas. A driver in a Santa Rosa neighborhood hit a seven-year-old girl this weekend, then drove off. We should point out the girl is okay. Now, we spoke with her and her family tonight, and a warning, the surveillance video you're about to see may be disturbing. Here's ABC7 News reporter Kate Larson. Those are the screams of Hazel Ann Conzett crying out in pain and calling the man who hit her and then drove off a murderer. Hello. Here she is with her mother and running around her Santa Rosa neighborhood Sunday night. Clearly, nobody murdered Hazel Ann, but to a seven year old girl, the hit and run crime is deadly serious. Just as my daughter wants this man in jail. <laughs> Here's home surveillance video of the incident that we've slowed down. You can see two kids running across Lewis Crone Drive Saturday evening around 5 o'clock. The boy in front is Hazel Ann's brother. Then as a black sedan comes into view, it hits Hazel Ann, launching her about 10 feet into the air. She lands in the street, screams, and then runs away with her friend and brother. I felt like I was about to pass out because you were scared. After the hit and run, Damien Conzet ran to his family for help. He has a message for the driver. Next time, you should think and look before you drive. Hazel Ann is physically okay. She was checked out at a hospital and has some bumps and bruises. But emotionally, she's, well, upset. No! Uh, every black car today. If he would have just stayed there, we could have worked this out maybe. San Rafael Police Sergeant Dan Hackett says the driver made their situation a lot worse by running. It could take a simple, there's going to be no enforcement action, and it could turn it into a felony by leaving. Police say there's a $2,500 reward for information leading to the arrest and conviction of the driver. Kate Larson, ABC7 News.